Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about series and parallel spring systems. Now in previous videos I have spoken about Hooke's law and this is the equation we're going to do today and today I'm going to talk about how to apply it to series and spring systems. So first of all I'm going to talk about a series system. And what I mean by a series system is two springs, separate springs, joined like this. And what I want to find out is the overall spring constant for this whole system. So this here, I'm going to represent onto this. What we've got here, I've got one Newton, okay. And when it's in series like this, both of these springs are going to feel this mass here. This force that's putting down, both of them are gonna feel it equally. So both of them are going to extend. Their spring constant, K, is 10 Newtons. And the force on it is one. So let's work out the extension for one of the springs. So force equals Kx. So 1 equals 10 times the extension, and the extension of one of the springs is going to be 0.1 metres, and this is for one of the springs. They are both going to extend 0.1 metres. This means, overall, the extension is... 0.2 meters. So if I'm going to find out the overall spring constant for this system, 1 equals k times by 0.2, so k equals 5 newtons per meter. <coughs> so as you can see here, when I've got two springs in series, the resultant, the overall spring constant, is less than the spring constant of one spring on its own. Let's look at parallel. Here we go, I've got two springs again. And what's interesting is when they're in parallel, they share the load. They get half each. So this one will have half of what this one is feeling. So let's work out the extension for each of these. So, my force will be 0.5 on this one because it's going to feel half of it equals 10 times x. So my extension is going to be 0.05. So this is my extension for one of them. Let's find out for the overall system. Now, for the overall system here, okay, for my overall system, I am going to be... <coughs> feeling, okay, so my overall system, I'm going to be feeling one newton, so the overall, I'll feel one newton, because they're both moving the same amount, but overall, my extension is only that much, okay, times by 0.05, my spring constant here is one divided by 0.05, is 20 newtons per meter. So as you can see, when they're in parallel, the materials are much stiffer. And you can see that now, if I have my spring, these are in series, I get lots of acceleration, it's not very stiff at all. But if I have the exact same springs, and put them in parallel, I don't get much extension at all. In fact, they're stiffer than they were originally. And this is why you see when you, on bikes and suspension, you see two springs at the front in parallel, because this produces a far stiffer um, material. And going back to this idea here of energy being stored, a half kx squared, your suspension, because k overall is bigger, can absorb much more energy into the system when you're jumping off your curbs. So suspension systems tend to be these parallel systems of course to increase the spring constant 
so it absorbs more energy. And that is series and parallel springs.